What's up guys? Okay, um, so unfortunately this is my first video. Um, I was planning on starting doing the YouTube stuff with the uh, flashlight torch reviews. Um, but I'm afraid it's come to this because on the 21st of June I received this package. Uh, the top there, that's what I cut it open, I didn't realise at the time. Um, it did feel light, but I mean it's only a triple A, it was only supposed to be a triple A torch in there anyway, so I wasn't expecting it to be really heavy. Um, also, um, there's this tape here. Uh, if anyone knows what postal uh, office that is, um, British or Chinese, whatever it is, could you please let me know in the comments? That would be great. Um, so, okay. Um, as you can see, there's a hole there um, where that tape was supposed to be covering up. So, clearly... Um, it's been damaged and something's come out of the packet and they've just taped it up and sent it on instead of trying to find it or whatever. Or maybe they did try and find it, I don't know. Anyway, the company is Banggood. Um, I contacted Banggood because I was quite happy. Uh, I've used Chinese companies, Fast Tech, Gear Best, Wish, hundreds and hundreds of times without incident whatsoever. Uh, and when there has been a problem, they've sorted it out and dealt with it pretty much straight away. However, this company, Banggood, absolutely useless customers. Don't know whether it's the language breakdown or whether they just couldn't care less. Uh, I contacted them straight away. I've been talking to them via email since the 21st. Um, so let me show you what was, what was inside. Like I said, it was supposed to be in a AAA flashlight. Uh, and all I got was that. I think there's another, another part of it as well. So clearly it got smashed to pieces in the post uh, and then the, the heaviest part being the flashlight has managed to sort of break out through this massive hole. I mean it's quite a big hole, it can fit, well I can actually fit four fingers in there easily. Uh, like I said, if you know what that logo is, what company, courier or postal service, whatever, please let me know. So. Uh, initially, they apologised and said, "No problem, you know, just let us let us go to your post office." They said, and let us know the weight of the parcel and ask them to provide a written document to say what had happened to it. I emailed them back and I said, "I don't think it was the UK post office. I think it was uh, China, but I'm not 100 percent certain." I said, "But I will go to the post office, even though it's uh, quite a long way. I drove 50 mile round trip to go to the sorting office. 50 miles, man." Only to be told by the post office that they hadn't even delivered the damn damn package. So I was absolutely livid. So I went back and I emailed them again. I said, look, I said, I've just driven 50 miles. I said, they didn't even deliver it. And then they said, try Yodel. So I contacted Yodel a couple of times. They haven't got back to me. Um, they did confirm, actually, that they had posted it. Um, but anyway, on the back of the package, it shows the weight. So I was quite happy to email them this part of the of the package. I also shown them a picture of the the damage, etc. You know that and and, and the uh, the plastic box. And they keep on asking me for the same thing over and over again. I said, look, I've got insurance. I actually paid for insurance for this package because whenever I go to a Chinese website, even though I haven't had any problems in the past, their insurance is pennies. It's it's like I don't know thirty pence or fifty pence or eighty pence, whatever it is. It's nothing. Just for the sake of risking losing a package, it's worth paying that little bit extra. So fortunately, so I thought, I paid the insurance so it wasn't going to be a problem. But even with the insurance, they still argue with me. Can you send the weight to the... And I sent them the weight. It states clearly on there the weight. So, you know, I can't do anything else. It's not up to me to chase them anyway. They, I paid them the insurance. They should have to chase it, surely. I don't know what you guys think. I'm absolutely furious. They've sent me the same email about six or seven times now. Please get a written documentation of the weight, etc. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I know it was obviously lighter, possibly after this. I don't know. But I can't do anything else. I've been in touch with the post office. They said they, don't, they didn't deliver it. I got in touch with Yodel twice. They've not got back in touch with me. You know, there's nothing else I can do. And this Chinese company, Banggood... Um, a few days ago, he emailed me, said, oh, we're very sorry for the inconvenience. As you haven't supplied the, the, the required documents, will you accept 600 points, which is the equivalent of $6? I'm like, no chance. I paid 20-odd pounds for this bloody torch. 
No way am I accepting six dollars in vouchers to spend in your shop. Not a chance. Anyway, I will get round to doing the reviews, guys. I'm going to start doing AAA flashlights first. Obviously, minus this one, unless I can borrow one of these off somebody else. Uh, and I'm going to work my way up. Uh, I'll do the AAA first, then I'll do double A's, then I'll do 18650s. Then I might do the uh, CR123, you know, the little mini batteries, uh, flashlights. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in sort of groups of specific battery types for the for the torch. Uh, and I'm also going to try and use lithium and, uh, you know, nickel, nickel cadmium or, or whatever they're called. Um, nickel metal hydride, sorry. So, um, yeah, uh, like or dislike the video, I'm not bothered. Uh, you know, uh, dislike it if you're not happy with the company. It's like dislike it if you don't like the video, I don't, whatever. Uh, I just needed to vent and get it off my chest, really. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Bang, good. Do not deal with them. Fast tech. Gear best, fantastic. Bang good, absolutely useless. Thanks for listening, guys. Rant over. Next video will be a good one. It'll be a, a decent review, and I'll be happy and chirpy as usual. Thanks a lot. Bye.